and welcome back we have a 98 honda accord uh we got a few problems going on with it first one is the customer hit a pothole and the wheel itself is wobbling and the second one is his squirters for the windshield fluid do not work so we're going to look into both of these problems So with the wheel off of the car and you're looking here at the rotor is spinning uh, everything looks normal to me I don't see any problems it doesn't look like anything's bent I did check the tie rods everything seems to be okay so I'm gonna have to call it just a bent rim You could probably tell that I'm not going crazy installing these lug nuts. Number one, because I'm gonna end up putting the spare tire on it later on. And number two, my new impact gun is capable of about 450 foot pounds of torque, which is way overkill for this. So I'm really uh, just being careful with the trigger. When I first started looking into this problem, the first thing I tried was checking out both of the fuse boxes on the car, and I could not find any of them that were related to the windshield fluid. So I just kind of skipped that and went straight to the motor. As you can see the connector isn't looking so good but that's something that you would expect to see given its location on the car. And whenever using a test light just always test your equipment to make sure it works. Uh, you don't want it to give you any false information and just uh, send you down the wrong path. Now I'm not forcing my test light into the connector. I don't want to spread the terminals. I just have it gently sitting on the terminal itself. And here I am inside the vehicle pulling on the lever for the windshield fluid. And as you can see the test light does light up telling me that the integrity of the, of the positive wire is all good. So we don't have any problems there. And now I'm gonna switch over and put my test light on the positive side of the battery and we're gonna check the ground wire. And there we go, the ground wire works. So there's no problems at all as far as uh, it being commanded on or any type of electrical issues. So at this point I'm pretty confident that it's just the motor itself that's bad. And here I am using a multimeter to check the amount of voltage that's going towards the motor and everything checks out. I don't see any problems. Sure, there could be some voltage drop, but I didn't see any. So the very last and final test is putting direct power to the motor, which I'm doing right here. And this thing is completely dead. It does not want to turn over at all. 
If anyone's wondering why my commentary and the text that show up on screen are sometimes the same, well, if you're anything like me, sometimes I stay up late watching videos and I don't always have the privilege of having the volume up and I can't find my headphones. So it's nice to just be able to read what's going on rather than having the volume all the way up. So I try to take that into consideration that maybe some people go through the same problem. And plugging a new motor in and giving it a quick test, of course it works. Uh, I didn't want to run it too long because I'm pretty sure this motor runs like a fuel pump where the liquid that's running through it is what cools it off. So if you run it too long with it without the liquid running through it, you could overheat it and damage it. Getting this rubber hose off of the old motor can be uh, a bit challenging. Um, at this point, you're replacing a motor. You probably already have the new one just like I do. So it doesn't really matter if you snap it off like I did. Uh, and then you just have to worry about getting this small nipple piece out of the hose itself, which uh, just kind of do what you have to do. But I wouldn't recommend cutting the actual hose because I mean there is just enough hose to reach that motor if you shorten it by any amount you're not going to reach the motor If you're a subscriber of mine, you already know that I try to put a little bit of my humor in most or all of my videos. So I know it doesn't always agree with everyone else's sense of humor, so it's hit or miss. But hey, if I could make someone laugh or chuckle, I'm happy. And that's pretty much it for this short video. If you liked the video, or if it helped you in any way, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.